Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to use real time physics in Blender. And it's a really cool thing to do because it lets you visualize your um, physics animations before you animate them. So, before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so let's get started. So, first, let's set up a basic scene. So, press tab to go into edit mode with the cube and press subdivide once, or yeah, just once. Okay, now move this up one, just drag this up and hold control, so it'll snap to the grid. So press space, add mesh plane, and scale this up. Okay, now I'm going to make this plane a different color, just for visual purposes. So, turn this black. Okay. So, now we need to turn this cube a soft body, and this is just for me to show you how to do this. Soft body, turn use go off. Okay, now let me bring this up. Now if you press Alt A to play the animation, go straight through. So first we need to select the plane, collision, and turn collision on. Right here. Just go here, collision. Now it should work. Okay, now that happens. So let's make this a little stiffer. So let's turn this to this is bending stiffness by the way, right here. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Alt A. Alright, maybe not that stiff. One, this is just trial and error, just you know. So let's keep it at 0.65, and I don't care how it turns out, I just have to get it. Okay, I guess that's good. So now, what you want to do is you want to right click here and press split area and split the area about that much. Now, you want to go here and go to timeline, and then you want to go playback, and you want to turn continue physics on. And now, instead of pressing Alt A, just press the play button and as you can see the mouse is still here or I hope you can see that with the recording now we can press G and we can move the plane and we can mess around with that and have the physics uh, continue while we manipulate the, the plane so we can see what's going to happen it's a little glitchy at times but it's really fun to do and we can uh, experiment with stuff like this for hours at a time and it's a really fun thing to do. Well, I'm going to stop. Just press escape to stop it. Just pause. Go back to frame one. Now, that's just one thing we can do. Now, let's see. Let's just delete these two. And actually, let's keep the cube. Just delete the plane. Now, select this. Press tab to go to edit mode. Subdivide, subdivide, and subdivide. Just press W to bring up the specials tab. Now, go here to weight paint. Just paint a little tiny, tiny red spot right there okay select the object mode go over here particle system I've already made a hair tutorial so go check it out if you don't know how boost up the hair turn this to group so it only comes out to that group that we made turn this to about uh, let's just turn this to 0.175 I don't know let's just go random okay now let's press play again oh wait sorry up. Now, we have a soft body, but instead of our object being a soft body, let's make the particle system the soft body. Okay, now press over here. Oops, sorry. Let's go here. Let's play. Let's move it around. Uh, it seems to be acting up a little bit, or I don't know what I'm doing, either or. <laughs> but, um, yeah, here's the problem. So, with the object, turn soft body off. And you have to click turn soft body on and um, keep everything how it is and now press play. Sorry about that. Now if we move it over around, it messes around messes up the hair. As you can see, you know, you can get that. There's tons of stuff you can do now. Let's turn the hair to emitter. Let's go back. Ready. And we can make the particles. Actually, let's turn normal up to like two. Just for a second. And now, wherever we put cube, the particles go out there. And anything that pretty much has physics, you can do this with. It's a really fun thing to do. And um, that's pretty much it. And it really helps you can do it with cloth. Ah, just for the sake of it, I'll just do cloth real quick. And then I'll end the video here. Okay, press space add mesh plane, scale it up, bring it up, press tab to go into edit mode, 
W subdivide a few times. Okay, turn this to claw. Make sure collision is turned on with this. No, it's not. Just play. You just keep that there. And you can move the claw around. But, you know, it's, it takes up a lot of CPU power, so I suggest having a strong computer if you want to see real effects with it. So that's pretty much it. And, uh,. So yeah, that's it. So keep um, watching my tutorials and um, check this out for yourself. It's a really fun thing to do. And um, if you have any questions about anything, just message me. And if you have any requests for any tutorials, just message me about that. Okay, so thanks for watching.